Hello everybody and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I am making a buttermilk and rose soap. And the buttermilk comes from my raw organic buttermilk that I get when I make butter, which I did this morning. I made butter, took the buttermilk portion left, um, made a slushy out of it in the freezer uh, before I added my lye to it. So um, that was my buttermilk portion. And for the rose, I have a solar infused olive oil. Um, what I do is I take a big gallon mason jar and I fill it with my herb. Um, in this case, it's organic rose petals. Um, pour the olive oil over the top and it's a two week process of shaking every day, solar infusion, and then you strain off the herb um, and the oil has leached out all the really wonderful health properties um, from the herb, in this case, the rose petals, uh, and it smells really mild and wonderful. And so that is the olive oil portion I'm using today is my rose solar infused olive oil. Um, also, I'm going to be using rose clay, which is just beautiful. This is gonna be an all natural bar. I'm using Palmarosa essential oil for the scent. I'm also going to use this red reef clay I think I got this on Amazon and it is, it's gorgeous. I'm really hoping, I don't know if you can see the edge of the color there. We'll pull it out later when we get mixing. Um, I'm really hoping that red stays true to the clay color because it's beautiful. So I'm gonna pull together all my ingredients. Uh, everything's cooled off and gonna get my safety gear on, my apron and come back and we're gonna make some buttermilk and rose soap. And I've got my liquid oils and my hard oils all melted and cooled um, and one of the luxury items in the hard oils today is shea butter that's in there um, my solar infused olive oil is in there and all my other good stuff so now I'm adding um, sorry about the lighting this is organic colloidal oats and a little bit of buttermilk powder just to amp up the buttermilk and I'm going to blend that into my oils here before we mix in the lye solution. So we'll get this all incorporated really well. I'm gonna pull my stick blender out because I think I'm gonna hand stir the lye solution because I wanna have a lot of control over um, the trace on this because I have a couple of colors and I just don't want anything speeding up on me unexpectedly so um, I'm going to go ahead and add my buttermilk lye solution and this does have um, Tussa silk fibers in it and um, a little bit of sodium lactate just to help uh, firm up the bars so you can unmold it really nice and smooth sides for unmolding that's what the sodium lactate does all right, I'll go ahead and take my whisk and I'm just gonna hand stir this buttermilk because, you know, the buttermilk, um, milk tends to trace quick, the sugars, the natural sugars in there, um, any of that stuff is going to work on speeding up your trace. So I've got it incorporated. I'm gonna make my split off right now. That was really quick. Um, go and that'll be for one of the clays I have the red reef clay and the rose clay I think I'll do a little more there we go all right now in my big bucket I'm going to whisk in uh, some titanium dioxide that I have blended with water just to brighten it up. I wanted the um, colors to really stand out. So I got that in there. I'm going to go ahead and add the clays and then we'll put the scent in and stick blend if we need to each color um, as we go. So here is my red reef clay. Ah, it's so beautiful. I really, really hope that color sticks around because gorgeous. All right. And here 
here will be my rose clay. There we go. And I will go ahead, let's do the lightest to darkest. So I'm going to go ahead and just blend in, get my clay wet. And um, again, we'll stick blend if we need to. Sorry, you can't see that. There is my rose clay, and we'll give that a little stick blend later. And here is my red reef clay that I'm really hoping stays. Oh, it's kind of a purple color. It's lovely, very rich. All right, we're going to hold off on that. Now, I'm going to do an in the pot swirl. So, let me go ahead and get my scent, my essential oil of Palmarosa. I'm going to put the largest portion in here and split the rest up. And I'm a little gun shy of florals, essential oils. They do tend to go quick. So, I'm going to whisk that in. Oh, that smells pretty. So this is uh, just my inspiration where right now as I'm filming this, I'm in the middle of March and anticipating the warmer weather coming on. And oh, I thought, you know, and I had the solar infused olive oil and I thought, you know, let's do something spring blossoms. I'm really looking forward to that. So. All right. There, I'll see. Now that's already starting to go. So I think we'll go ahead. We're getting thick, so we're good to go. Go ahead and get these in to the pot here. Pour it from the pie, and I'm just going to zhuzh it around. That's how we're doing it. I'm going to go all in because I'm going to texture the top, and I have some uh, leftover rose petals that will go on the top, so I don't need to save any for swirly business. I like the textured tops. I'm kind of into that right now. All right, and here we go with the beautiful red reef clay, and it has wonderful skin benefits. We love all that. So let's go in. I'm going to go up high and sort of zhuzh around, and then I'll give this just a little stir with my spatula here to make sure the swirls are going down, and we'll pour it into the mold. Very simple. And because it's firming up so quick, I think I'll be able to texturize the top pretty much right out of the starting gates here. All right. Now I'm going to go around a couple times and let's get it in the mold. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to scoot you over a little bit. There we go. See, it's ploppy. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. So I'm going to definitely have to tap this down on the ground though, make sure I don't have air bubbles in there. There we go. I'm going to tap it down and come back and we'll texture the top and get our beautiful rose petals on there. Smells so pretty and fresh and rosy. Right. There we go. I'll be right back after I bump this down on the ground. There we go. Now let me just sort of even the top out here. I notice once in a while my center bars tend to be a little taller and I want everybody to get a nice amount, so I'll try to smooth that out a little.
here is our beautiful organic rose petals that I think I'm just gonna sort of just go all over with these. Oh, they smell so pretty, the rose petals do. They really retain their scent when they're dried. Okay, and we're gonna spray it off here with a nice 91% rubbing alcohol. And here is our buttermilk rose and we'll come back tomorrow for the cut. All right, here we are the next morning with our uh, buttermilk and rose bars. Oh, they smell good. Let's get them out of the mold. And again, I used a, um, it's called Palma Rosa, but I've also, some people say, uh, call it rose geranium essential oil, which I thought they were different. I don't know if they're the same or not, but this one is that Palmarosa is the essential oil that I used in here, along with our solar infused with organic rose petals, olive oil, and our different clays, our red reef clay and our rose clay. That's what we've got going on. Oh, the clays look beautiful. I can't wait to get in here. That's, when I unmold, I've been knocking the corners off and that's bugging me. I gotta learn how to pull up a little harder so I don't knock my corners off. All right, there's the side swirly goodness. Let's get this in the cutter here. see what we've got going on the inside. Ooh, that's pretty. So happy. It's beautiful. back so you can see all the lovely swirly goodness. And let's get this into the cutter.